Mayong Adlaw, brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to our episode of Gaza, 21 Historical Snippets to 2021. In every religious architecture, we see different artistic imageries using religious inspirations. These artistic forms correspond to a particular vocation, evoking and glorifying in faith and adoration, showing the eternal beauty of God. These are what we call sacred art. For 500 years now and beyond, sacred art forms a vital part of the church which continues to serve only one purpose, to know Him and adore Him. As we patiently wait for the celebration of the 500th anniversary of Christianity next year, 2021, join me as I take you on a digital trip featuring 21 historical churches, museums, and cemeteries here in the beautiful island of Cebu. And let's take a closer look at these sacred arts and understand its meaning and purpose. And don't forget to like and follow the official page of the Archdiocese of Cebu for the 500 years of Christianity and the CSR page of Smart Communications Incorporated, Smart Communities, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Brother Fares, aka Brother Lacochero. Tana, Ubanta! Tana, ubanta. Full of charm and warmth, Argo offers a slow-paced life that you would not want to pass up. With so many friendly faces of hospitable locals, this municipality in the southeast of Cebu City is a safe haven for those who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. The town is known for its culinary offerings, especially the famous three teas, torta, tablia, and tuba. The town's torta, in particular, has become a national and international hit for the unique way in which it is made. Argao's version is said to be made with fermented coconut wine, more commonly known as tuba. This is apparently the secret ingredient that gives its decadent flavor, making it such a crowd favorite. Of course, you can never go wrong with pairing up a sweet pastry with some local hot cocoa or sikwapi, which can be made from their own tablina. In a beautiful place that surrounds you with nature, a torta in one hand, a warm drink in the other, and a beautiful Argao sunrise. What more could you possibly ask for? But the beauty of Argao is not only limited to the breathtaking sights of nature, for the place is also filled with so many cultural structures. Argo is home to many churches, each with their own long and interesting history, such as the Capilla Mortuario, which has been part of the town's culture since the 1700s. This chapel, as mentioned in Argo, in search of a usable past by Paul Grishweiler, was used to host funerals of community members who had since passed on. It sits beside Puerto Marina on the way to the sea. Another neighboring church, an impressive architectural masterpiece that stands at 72 meters long, is called the St. Michael the Archangel Church. This Augustinian structure that was built in the 18th century is a typical of many other Spanish built churches during the colonial period. It has simple nave, is covered by vaulted wooden ceilings, a transept which gives it its cruciform shape and its intricate details in its nooks and crannies, such as carved images on altars, artistic motifs outlining columns, and top-of-the-notch decorative items. The massive structure was completed during 1788 with this year's etch on the church's side door. The marking indicates its completion under the supervision of Father Francisco Espina, who serves as the parish priest from 1782 until 1798. While the church originally had clay tiles, 
were replaced shortly after the roof collapsed during a typhoon in the year 1876. The choice to substitute the damaged foundations with this third-year material came in 1942, when instead of clay tiles, they installed a galvanized iron in preparation for possible earthquakes. As sturdy and classic as the exterior of the church goers, its interior intricate and high-quality ornaments are an artistry that certainly leaves its audience in awe. The church has five altars inside, with the main one painted in the golden hue. This altar has four niches with its lower level displaying statues of St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael, while the center of the altar shows of a majestic sculpture of the center of the Virgin Mary. Floral motifs and carvings also generously adorn the columns a sequence of depictions of angels, fruits of the ivy, and snakes that ran down the columns. Portraits illustrated in the panels include St. Michael the Archangel, who is armed with its spear and shield and is enclosed by two angels. An esquila, or campana de Vuelio, is attached to one of the stone walls of the church. It is run by hand through manually rotating and pulling it down. Among the other bells in the church, there is also the oldest bell, which happens to be embossed with an image of San Agustin. To this day, it remains in the church's massive five-bodied belfry, which is connected to the church by a camarín de capaneros, or the quarters for the bell toller, and it happens to be the only bell of its kind. In addition, there are extended elements to the church that add to its cultural and artistic contributions, such as the well-kept parish museum. The view that makes the Church of Argao stand out from so many others lies in the painted ceiling that leaves people catching their breath. Collaborated on by two very popular competing Cibuano artists, Raimundo Francia and Canuto Avila, the regal piece of art was created not only for aesthetic purposes, it served as a massive canvas for catechism. It became a means to impart information about faith to the devotees, weaving intricate biblical scenes into artistic statements with water as its overarching theme. The paintings beautifully captured the metaphor of God's love flowing through the sacraments. The symbolism and profoundness of the murals and artistry of the church make it one of the most enthralling destinations to date. The richness of Argao's historical background and heritage sites alone makes it a hub of those interested in learning the town's deep culture. Interesting, isn't it? When travel restrictions will be relaxed soon, make sure to visit the historic church in Argao and see for yourself its beautiful and distinct architecture integrated with sacred arts. And don't forget to take photos. Thank you very much for joining me in today's digital trip featuring St. Michael the Archangel Church. And before you go, Make sure to download the Panel sa Pantuo mobile app, both available in Android and iOS. This is a component of the Traveling Exhibit Project by the Archdiocese of Cebu's Commission for the Cultural Heritage of the Church, Smart Communications Incorporated, and Inupub Media, titled Panel sa Pantuo, The Journey of Faith at 500 Years of Christianity. Thank you very much and let's hashtag Travel Smart very soon. Next time, uban gya punta ha? Tana, uban ta.